Hello everyone! In this video I thought I would do something a little bit different and do my mixed media scrapbook in real time for this week. I get the impression from some of your comments that um, some of you still are a bit like, oh mixed media and when I do the sped up processes like there's a certain impression if I just kind of throw things and magically something happens. So I thought if I do it in real time you might get a really good idea of how these things come together. So I haven't pre-planned this page at all so who knows how this video is gonna go. You may also of course hear some background noises seagulls, sirens, those kind of things. So yes, obviously I am using my June Thompson's Craft Supplies kit. This is the Vintage Charm kit. It is gorgeous. If you haven't seen the video where I share all of the kit, I will of course link that. I'm going to be scrapping this photo of my grandma. This was taken last year in Derbyshire. Um, she's just sitting outside the hotel we were staying at looking at the beautiful beautiful view i think my sister snapped this photo i'm gonna say i don't think i did but yes i have toned down the saturation of this photo because it was quite bright and quite bright greens and stuff and wouldn't necessarily go with this collection but i haven't done it in grayscale just to be a little bit different it's just like there's a hint of the green you can see her the yellow of her cardigan it helps her pop out of the picture as well so yes this is the photo i am going to scrap and now I'm going to choose my paper. So, yes, when I first start, I sit down, I hold the photo against papers like such and think, mm, yes, no, maybe do that kind of thing. So, no for that one. Just, I can't necessarily explain why. I just, in, I go by my initial reaction. Obviously, that one was a cut apart. That is too busy. And I do want to keep the other side of that for something else. That isn't right either because it's very... I don't know, the windows and stuff imply that it should be a layout that is either indoors or in a very urban area. So no for that one. This one is a possibility. That is a sticker sheet, so we'll put that over there. And this one is a maybe. I'm torn between those. And whichever one I go for, for there's going to be people who are going to go, no, I wish you went for the other one. But that's just the way of the world, unfortunately. I am really I can't decide at all I do like this but I don't think the color of the photo and this background goes together so I'm gonna go for this paper right so step number one take off the branding strip of course I do like this other side actually but no that's not quite right and I'm gonna keep this branding strip because I like what's on there I can use it for another project obviously not suitable for this one because friends become our chosen family is not appropriate for a picture of my grandma so yes this video may be slight challenge for me as well because just constantly talking can be quite hard work so if i accidentally go silent on you for a minute or two i apologize in advance so step number one should always be a layer of clear gesso now there is a slight wood paddling effect on this which goes across the horizontal so I'm going to do my brush strokes in horizontal you should always pay a slight bit of attention to the pattern of the paper um, unless you're using like a proper prima silicon brush which oh my goodness I want one so much um, then you're gonna see a hint of brush strokes so yes just just keep an eye on the way the paper goes for that reason so yes not every single paper needs to be done with clear gesso i will say there are a handful that don't that i've used in the past some very sort of mixed media based um papers and stuff like seven dot studio and things like this but for the most part i'd say 90 percent of the time you're going to want to use clear gesso i'm actually going to put quite a thick layer on this because this is a case of craft paper and i have said this many times in the past but they are quite they don't they're not very high GSM so yes you can see how with that layer of wet gesso on it's really quite flimsy but even without they're very I don't actually know what the GSM of Kayser Craft paper is if anyone knows do let me know I might have to email them just out of curiosity anyway so yes that layer of gesso is on clear gesso of course I'm going to dry it with my heat tool and I'll cut this bit out because it's going to be very boring for you to watch. Basically, I'm just going to do this. Okay then, so now that that is dry, I'm actually going to back it with this piece of cardstock. You probably have seen me do this in videos before. If the paper I use is something like Kaiser Craft, it is very, very, very thin. Um, even after gesso, it's still 
I don't know how well you can see, but it's just, it's very thin and flimsy and it's not going to take all that mixed media we're going to put on it. So I take a random piece of cardstock from my stash of cheap paper pads. One that I don't really like. I know I'm not going to use it for anything else. And I just use that to back my whole layout. So I will put double-sided tape on the absolute very edges. You could use glue as well, PVA even if you if you wanted, gel medium, um, any kind of glue would be fine. I just prefer to use double-sided tape because, I don't know, I just do. That's, I'm a big fan of double-sided tape. So I just thought I'd tell you, um, if you're wondering where my, I put a ton on by the way, if you're thinking how much double-sided tape are you putting on? Lots, because I don't want any it to warp at all. Um, anyway, yes, if you're wondering where my brush went, little mixed media tip. Now my craft room is almost right next to a bathroom and because we're at the tippity top of a very tall house, I am the only person who uses that bathroom during the day. So I actually fill the sink with warm water and put all my tools that are going to need washing in that sink um, with a little bit of washing up liquid. So they just sit, you know, they're getting washed sort of while I do everything else. Now I realise this is not an option for everyone, perfectly understandable. And um, in case you are wondering if I should need to use the bathroom in that time for, you know, bathroom related purposes, then I wash my hands using the bath tabs. <laughs> but yes, just if you do have access to a sink nearby, it is quite handy just to have the water ready to go and stuff. And yeah, I, as I said, I keep washing up liquid in there ready for what I just, I am quite pernickety about my mixed media tools being clean, especially stencils, stencils above anything else, but brushes too. Um, so yeah, just thought I'd add that in. Plus it's something to say while I do all of this. Now I'm just going to check those are sticky because my double sided tape has been misbehaving lately. Okay, that's fine. And then I have said this in a previous video as well, but if you put the heavier piece down onto the flimsier piece, it works better for I don't know, gravity or something. I don't know. So line up at the bottom. If you get it slightly wrong, it's fine. You can trim, trim off the excess. I usually use a bone folder like so just to make sure it's all smooth and there's not going to be any wrinkles or bumps or any of that on the paper i do apologize in advance i imagine this video is going to be really really long and oh whoops now you can see there there was actually an area that was not completely dry and i've left some of it here on my mixed media map but you know what it's fine it's shabby chic themed, so bits like this, not a problem. I am just going to get my heat tool back out and make sure it is completely dry. Right then, okay, that's all fine. So the next part is to decide the layout of the layout. So I was going to do a more vertically, you know, a picture maybe there and then stuff going up here, but because we've got these horizontal lines and I don't really like it that way, or do I like it that way? Actually, maybe I do. I was going to say I didn't want to do one straight line because that is what I did in my last project and for, you know, like design team purposes. And so you guys get to see different things. I wanted to do something different. But actually, I think if we do it that way, yeah, it's fine, isn't it? Just. Yes, actually. No, OK, never mind. Ignore what I'm saying. We're going to go vertical with the vertical. If we do it vertical, we're cross. No, it's going to look rubbish. Let's do it that way. So next we want, not clear gesso, heavy gesso and my sponge. Where have I put it? OK, I've changed my mind. We're going with normal gesso because I don't want to use clear gesso because then I'm not going to know what area I'm supposed to be working in which is a ridiculous reason I realise, but there it is. If I use heavy, I'm not going to see any of the pattern behind it, and I want to just be able to see a hint of it just behind. That was my computer, if you heard that. Um, so I'm going to use normal gesso, except I can't, my, it's very low down there, and I'm, oh, no, I've just got it. Okay, so that is the size of the picture. I think we're going to go almost all the way. So I'm just going to sponge this on sort of circular, spongy. You see how you can sort of see the pattern behind there. It's just a bit more faded. I'm sorry, I'm being really delicate about this. Some of you know that I do not like getting too much stuff on my hands. Really not ideal for someone who likes mixed media, but there it is. Actually, I haven't got a baby wipeout ready. Oh, usually I have like three ready to go in case I need to 
clean something up or clean off my hands or yes I'll get those ready in a second so I'm just sort of dabbing it so you don't see the the swirly shapes kind of like the the sponge equivalent of brush strokes just because I think they look a bit naff not necessarily always just I think they will do on this particular layout I think maybe we want it to go a little bit around the photo as well I got it on my thumb um yes just sort of sticking out a little bit around there so I've got plenty of room to put more mixed media goodness and embellishments and all of that kind of thing dab 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 you know if I was a sensible person I would have done it this way to cover up that little mistake I made but you know what what we will do instead is put some more gesso in this corner and then towards the end of doing the layout just add a little cluster down there hopefully I don't forget to do that so yes although I do think that looks kind of cool work where it's a bit ripped like that I almost kind of want to do it in more places but I wouldn't be able to do it on purpose and then I just mess it up and just cover up that bit as well okay there we go see it's mostly just me going oh I made a mess cover it up oh I made a mess cover it up that's kind of what mixed media is really right okay I'm gonna dry this okay so I just took 10 minutes possibly less than that and I have gathered together things that I think I'm going to use so I've gone through as well as obviously all the stuff in the kit stamps and embellishments which I'm going to get to a bit later I have pulled some stuff out from my stash there's these little butterflies there's some little uh, pink roses there's these wooden shapes this butterfly I do want to use butterflies on this layout because my grandma absolutely loves butterflies and I'm not sure first I thought if I just do use that one it's going to be too much so if I balance it out with another butterfly I don't have another wooden butterfly I've got another wooden dragonfly but it's huge and I can't it's just too big to use uh, I don't know so yes I've got those bits out what I think I'm going to do is the following a little bit of stamping some inking some stenciling with the stencil that came in the kit and then also some like I'll put gesso and colour on this if I use it and gesso and colour on the flowers I've also got my big box of flowers and doilies plus of course everything in the kit and um, I think I'm definitely going to use this sticker sheet and probably use this sheet for a title I imagine hmm I'm not sure if there's anything exactly appropriate because that one <laughs> says live every moment love every day but because before you know it precious time slips away is a bit uncomfortable to use um when my grandma bless her is 95 years old um a moment lasts all of a second memory lives on forever i just i don't know we'll figure it out when the time comes so i'm going to start with my inking i've got my tesco baby wipes because they are the best baby wipes for everything except for what their actual purpose is intended for stamp block oh hello what's this oh maybe what am i gonna do i think that's too much against that pattern actually no nope, i've changed my mind never mind i just i get distracted by shiny things that's what happens i hope putting that there isn't uh, knocking the camera too much so lacy border and then also every moment is special with you i'm going to include somewhere i think and then there's this stamp i know i did this kind of thing in the last layout with the stamping and then inking over the top and stuff but i just love these stamps so much and i want to use them all the time I'm sorry if you can hear my phone vibrating i should probably do something about that and put it on silent or something so i am going to use stays on inking stone gray i only picked this up very recently i'm not entirely sure if the whole video will have been up already or if it's going up tomorrow <laughs> for you guys tomorrow not for me tomorrow but yes we will see so yes i am going to stamp it in gray just so it's a little bit more subtle and it's just going to go all over the layout as so as you see it's it's kind of a it's a very black gray it's not a light gray by any stretch of the imagination i'm gonna to have to cover that up because i have errored by having that there also this has got butterflies on as well and as i said my grandma loves 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 butterflies these these little squishy butterflies which i am going to gesso because obviously the color is um not right for this layout she actually sent me those bless her heart um very recently she is the sweetest lady 
in the entire world. So yes, right, baby, wipe. Dun, 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 dun. I think I've left it too long. Oh no, we're all right. I do want to get, they could have stamp chamois, or is that just the lawn form ones? You know, like a proper stamp cleaner one of these days, but not just yet. Not if, not, yeah. I'm just cheap sometimes about these things. Oh no, I'm gonna get stays on everywhere. Right, what did I say I was gonna use? The Lacy Edge, I believe. All right, I really need to, I'm getting distracted by my phone because I'm getting like a load of messages come in. Hello. Um, you know when you write, I'm sure you all do it, you know when you write messages and you send like separate messages for like each phrase, like hello, separate message how are you separate message what are you up to we all type like that so that's why i'm not that popular it's just the people i'm talking to are typing in that way because <laughs> you know that's the way i type too right so lacy border i've done that at an angle i'm just going to change that because otherwise it's going to be at an orcs angle on my layout so if you think the stamping looks a bit weird enough at the moment just remember that a lot of it is going to get covered up I'm just doing it because and then you might think well why are you going to do it if it's going to get covered up because it's nice to see little pops of it appear from under everything else that didn't stand very well did it ugh goodness me it's just yeah. again didn't stamp brilliantly but it doesn't really matter does it I'm going to do that little extra bit up there and then am I just gonna do there I don't think I shouldn't do that on both sides that will look horrific yeah I'm just gonna have it there right okay baby wipe I think what I'm gonna do actually is have some more background butterflies just because it's my grandma um so yes this is very much a good example of how I do mixed media. It is an awful lot. Scripty stamp. Hmm, maybe. Um, it's an awful lot of making decisions as I go. I very rarely really, really prep anything. So, yes, I know I've got some good looking butterflies in here somewhere. Where are they? Yeah. Found them. I'm just trying to be careful when I put that there because it is a, it's on the thing that the thing of the camera is attached to and I don't want it to go wobbly for you guys. If I ever go up shot in this video as well, I'm really sorry. It's quite hard to multitask, um, keeping talking and, you know, doing stuff at the same time. I'm used to just listening to tunes while I do this because then, you know, obviously my video is sped up and I just... Do the voiceover later on. Ink is there. You'll also probably see me lose stuff a lot as well. Because, yes, that's what we do. We lose stuff. We don't know where we put it. There it is. Not beautifully stamped, but again, it'll do. I'm just... The thing is, with this one, it's a landed butterfly. So I have to be able to put it on something that it's got something to sit on, as it were. So if these get covered up... I'm not actually that bothered because it's a bit of a difficult butterfly to work with. Fun fact, not really a fun fact, just a thing that has just appeared in my brain. The um, the Dovecraft stamps, you know my trick with the Tesco baby wipes and stays on ink, doesn't work as well on the Dovecraft stamps. I don't know why, it just doesn't. Some of them it does, some of them it doesn't. I don't, I don't know. So, yes. Right, I want a butterfly all the way out here. There we go. Oh, that was on one of those little dodgy bits. <laughs> see, you see how many mistakes I make. I make them constantly and then I just cover them up, really. All mixed media is, is just learning. Loads and loads and loads of learning. I am actually really liking this black and white and grey theme going on here. It's pretty, yeah, I like that a lot. Right, now we've got four butterflies and I don't like even numbers of things. So where I'm going to put this other, just put him over here. In the area that I need to remember to do something in later on. <laughs> it's going to be so funny if I forget to do that. And you guys are going to be like, ah, excuse me, <laughs> you forgot. And I'll be like, oopsie. Right, what's next? 
Right, I have decided I do want to use the scripty stamp. So yeah, a very stampy layout it seems, but I'm not gonna use the stampy block because I don't want the perfect stamp effect. I don't want the straight edges and stuff. So I'm just gonna do it very roughly. That's not got much ink on it though. So let's just do that a bit better. And that's gonna go there. There you go. So it's just very faded in the background there. It's not perfectly stamped. That's a thing that we do a lot in mixed media is stamping without a stamping block, which I do actually struggle with because these are very, very floppy stamps. That is what she said. Sorry, that was inappropriate. I'm sorry. Um, that's wonky. Never mind. I think that's enough of that stamping. No, well, apparently it's not because my brain is doing some more. Put some there. Yep, I'm happy that with that. Right. Baby wipe, baby wipe, baby wipe. Um, right. I'm sorry for you guys that are not in the UK, by the way, and everything I suggest is usually only UK based shops, but I, I can't really help it because that, that's where I live and that's the only shops I'm really familiar with. But I'm sure you all have your equivalents. So if you are from a country that is not the UK and you have some great recommendations for things like that, um, for your country mates then uh, do pop them in the comments or if you're in the UK and you just think my recommendations are rubbish <laughs> right oh I am loving this black and white actually I'm almost tempted to just leave it a black and white but no we definitely need a hint of color I'm thinking a little bit of pink we'll go in tattered rose worn lipstick is too strong um actually let's just check that in the swatch book have you guys seen my swatch book yet I'm so proud of it I love it so much Saltwater taffy is going to work very well. And what is this? Tattered rose. Yes. One lipstick, maybe if I do it very lightly. Hmm. Hmm. Right. Okay. So, Distress Oxide in Tattered Rose. I have said this in a video before, but I am sorry if you're getting fed up of me using Distress Oxides all the time. I just, I love them. I love them so much. They are glorious glorious things and I've never worked with anything like them really and they ain't cheap they are an investment and I'm gonna have to start investing in the reinkers eventually but they're just marvelous marvelous things and admittedly I don't actually own any normal distress ink I've only got what other inks have I got I've got some cheap hobby craft I've got a couple of stays on I've got some lawn fawns that have come in this kit can I use that on this layout we will see um yeah but i just i've fallen completely madly in love with them and i don't know how many i have at this stage i don't have all 36 i will admit to that but i've definitely got more than 12. do i need to do that in any other areas do you think i really like that actually that those colors oh yes yes mm. and now if you've got someone else in, in in the room watching uh with you then they're going um, what are you listening to? Why is that person shouting yes over and over again? <laughs> ah, awkward. Right, a little bit over here in my corner that I need to not forget about. Oh, the, the thing with me in mixed media and everyone else does it is to know when to stop. Because when something like this is happening and you're absolutely loving it, it's so easy to get carried away and do way too much. I think, let me just... I think that's pretty good. I'm not actually sure if I'm going to use any of these butterflies now because I'm not entirely sure that I need them. Maybe just that one, but then it brings too much attention to itself. I don't know. Um, <laughs> we will see. Right, I'm just going to add a little bit more here. I'm doing that. Always putting the picture back and forth on the layout to see what exactly I want to do. Right, that's enough of that colour. We'll put a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of worn lipstick on there. Yes, I do have separate blending pad thingies for each color because I'm a little bit, I don't know, I'm too lazy to have, want to wash them too often. Right, I'm only doing a teeny bit more of that because that is quite bright. I'm probably gonna cover that up. I'm not, it's just, it's a bit neon, isn't it? It's not quite, so. Yeah, I need a colour between Tattered Rose 
and one lipstick. Is there a colour? I can't think of a different ox oxides available off the top of my head. Let's just maybe it'll be better if it's a bit on its own and if I very lightly dab it. So yeah, I do experimenting on my layouts as I do them. I really, really do. So yes, I've had enough of that. I'm not over keen on how bright that is. And now I'm going to make sure this is very far away while I add some Lindy's, which needs quite a lot of shaking. This color in particular needs an awful lot of shaking. This is Saltwater Taffy. Um, I'm always accidentally calling it Mad Hatter Mint in my videos. Mad Hatter Mint is a completely different color. It's a mint, a dark mint color. And yes, I think it's just, the name seems to have stuck in my head. So I'm always calling Lindy's, accidentally calling Lindy's sprays. I'd had a mint. Right. Spray, 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 spray. See, that's that's a nice colour that's in between those colours. This is what I want. I just want it in a distress pretty please. This particular bottle doesn't spray marvellous marvellously. Marvellously. It sort of Yeah. Okay, we're getting a bit too pink for my liking, so let's just tone this down. Heat tool or heat gun, whatever you prefer to call it. Dry, 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 dry. Uh, right, I don't want that big blob there, so I'm just going to pull that back up with a baby wipe. The Distress and the Lindy's will react together to a certain extent, because as I said, they are both water-based. So it's things like this you kind of pick up, but a lot of you guys kind of know this already. Right, let's do something else. A little bit of stenciling, maybe? I don't even know if I'm going to do stenciling on this layout. That would be pretty adventurous, wouldn't it? Have a look. I'm going to go with crackle paste stencil and then I'm going to go over that with one of my new toys which is the Nouveau embellishment mousse in peony pink so yes I mean I'm sorry if I'm using things that you know you don't necessarily have or something but I hope you know you can still get like ideas and stuff and I want to put that angle yeah let's be fun and have a slight angle on here so this is the Ranger Texture Opaque Crackle Paste, in case you are wondering. I am being careful not to do too many of the flowers that are at the edges because I don't really want the straight lines so much. I'll be doing some of them because it can't really be avoided, but not too many. I'm just going to finish off with that little flower there. All right, how does that? look Ooh. there we go oh we don't like that at the top okay i'm going to go back and sort that out in a minute i have some down here as well so yeah the thing is with um having all the products and stuff obviously i've i've built up my product stash over time so yes obviously you can still make beautiful glorious things and you do not need all of the things it's just yeah i have built up my collection i mean i there's still a lot of things that i want and people have and i'm just like oh things like um a lot of the prima paints and pastes and stuff like the art alchemy stuff and the sparks paints and the impasto paints yes i would like some of that stuff but yeah it is yeah it's not exactly the most budget friendly stuff in the world I'm sorry if I keep singing at you but that's what I do all the time as I said I'm used to having music on so usually I would be loudly singing right now to my tunes and obviously I can't put them on in the background because then I will get a copyright violation right how's that am I happy with that do we want any more I'm happy for now and then, yeah, so I'm going to dry this. Um, some texture pastes you can't dry with a heat tool. You have to let them air dry. Otherwise, they're not going to crackle properly. But you can do it with the Ranger. But I'm going to go and wash this super quick. Because I was saying before about being, yeah, about that stuff. Then I will dry this. Then I will come back to you. Okay, so that is dry. I don't know how well you can see the crackle there. There's also a couple of hints of yellow here, which is weird um, I think it's because I accidentally got something yellow in there and it's just, you know, it's just sat in there for a while. But it actually kind of works kind of well because I did want a tiny bit of yellow on this layout. So yay for happy accidents. So embellishment mousse. 
I read that it keeps better if you keep the silver foily bit on there, except now I can't get into it. There, but it keeps better if you keep that on there, so that's what I'm doing. Now it says apply with a soft cloth. Now, I don't have a soft cloth to hand, but I do have an almost dry baby wipe. If that doesn't work, I've got some kitchen roll. If that doesn't work, I'm using my fingers. So let's see how this goes. Oh, that is pretty. It's subtle, but it's very pretty. Let's just pick up a bit more. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm loving it. Trademark McDonald's, isn't it? I'm loving it. I don't know. Or Justin Timberlake. Now I wish I had a yellow in, in embellishment mousse, like a really light, light, light pastel lemon kind of colour, because that would be so perfect right now for what I am doing. I don't think I'm going to cover all of it with the embellishment mousse, just some, and then do some in a yellowy colour. I need to find something yellow. I don't have a lot of yellow things. It's not one of my go-to colours I don't want that big lump go away big lump yeah it's not one of my go-to colours so hmm, do I want more there just a little hinty just a little hinty all right now I need to find something yellow so that is pretty I like that obviously there's a bajillion ways of using embellishment mousse and um yeah check out videos on YouTube and stuff because there's so many right find something yellow Okay, so what I have gathered, my desk is an absolute disaster zone, honestly. It's not even this bad when I usually do my mixed media. I think it's because I'm distracted talking to you guys, trying not to make the video four and a half hours long. That, yeah. Okay, I think that's good enough. I was thinking about using this yellow in this Kurataki set, but I think the, what is it, antique linen there is actually gonna do the job for me for the yellow part. Yep, yeah it is. Don't have to get the watercolors out. I do apologize if you saw them and got excited. I will use them very shortly. We never know, they may still end up getting used in this layout, maybe for some splatters. Hmm, maybe. I definitely need some more yellow things though. I mean, mixed media, coloring, inky, things I have a couple you know a fair few yellow inks and stuff but just looking at them they're behind me which is why I'm going this way they're all quite bright yellows like Heidi Swap in butter that's really bright um there's a distress in honey something or other yeah they're just too too bright not subtle enough I mean if I was feeling I suppose you, I could like mix them with some white acrylic or with some gesso or something <laughs> just too lazy guys just too lazy right how's that where's my picture yeah it's very patchy but I think I like it well let's put some down here jam, 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 jam. there we go right so it's very much gone away from that original black and grey thing we had going on, but I'm still happy. I'm still liking it. So now I think I've actually done most of my colouring. What I'm going to do is take these little guys and open them up here because I want their shapes, but I don't want their colour because obviously it's too, too bright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gesso these bad boys up. I will not bother to do this on camera. I will just... Um, yeah, I'm just going to put a piece of paper and paint gesso over the top. Okay, butterflies done. Everything is all dry and stuff. These gessoed quite interestingly. They're quite textured. But yes, we'll get to those in a bit. Let's start actually assembling this layout. You can get the idea of how long I spent on my mixed media layouts. Goodness me. Right, let's... Um, sorry, I'm not showing you any action in the screen. I'm just get, getting my papers, which are over here. Right. I want to use these stickers. I think I want to use something from that. That I'm saving for another layout. What do I want to use on here? I think I want to use this because I think the colour will go quite well. What I will do if I start going silent for a bit is I'll probably just skip the footage or speed it up 
a little bit just so you're not just listening to complete silence i haven't brought in any blue on this layout so i don't know if i want to do that um you make life beautiful oh that's on the blue though we will see right um definitely want to use that just want to choose what bits to use here obviously i want to keep with this vertical thing that's going on here that's blue so no i'll probably end up using blue anyway um you are the reason i smile every day can i have that going up the side i'm not sure that i can i can definitely use that so let's snip that out probably would be easier go away little butterfly uh probably would be easier to just get my paper trimmer out but you know laziness pay no wait what's the phrase hard work pays off in the future laziness pays off right now so yes one of my favorite quotes if you ever wondered <laughs> okay right let's just i'm not cutting this very well the reason is is because i'm going to distress snip 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 sorry i had to concentrate there because i'm going to de-stress the edges with my distress tool which is always out and about this distress tool is dovecraft it you can probably i've had mine for a long time i bought mine in the range just after i bought mine there seemed to be a little bit of a shortage of them but i'm fairly sure you can get them again now um but i've also seen them on <clears throat> excuse me I'm not used to all this talking um you can get them on amazon i imagine so yes right i think i want that there but i don't want it the whole length so let's just snip a bit off distress that edge and that edge and that will be fine to just go on with double-sided tape which is where is the question found it we're all good i found it so yes all the papers and stuff i'm using at the moment are from the kit so yes i mean i don't want to say outright that it's my absolute favorite kit ever but i do think it's flipping gorgeous um the nautical was probably one of my favorites as well there's one coming up um I i'm not sure if it's next month or the month after which i'm just so excited about um so yes exciting things happening right what should we use as well see not many of these are designed to go sideways are they i wonder if i can get away with this damask sideways if not i will just stick it back on again but no look at that looks nope 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 absolutely not there we go any of those i can't use the butterflies because they're that way can i use this it's not really very really long but i think if i distress the edge of that i might be able to get away with that there it is i'm always losing things <laughs> yes i am right dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 this may well be one of those layouts where i end up without get off a title um not you guys know i firmly believe that not every layout needs needs a title sometimes the picture just speaks for itself and a couple of tiny words a couple of little phrases or something is just fine so yeah that's that's my opinion on that right we need to start backing this up and stuff now i don't know if i do want to use this or not thought that would be good the color is right but i don't know where to put it where can i put you i don't know where where it can go and i put you under there slightly but then it looks a bit naff i don't think i can use it i can't use it can i oh donation oh i can use it like that once i but then it's too much of a no 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 right more paper required let's see i used this last time is this gonna work no nope. not right at all okay this is what i'm gonna do this is that handmade paper really fibery paper i don't know what you call it i'm gonna rip up some of it into strips that is a very noisy rip 
yep, rip up some into strips. That wasn't an ideal strip, but never mind. I'm going to take some more oxide in, where is it? Hickory smoke and dye these little things grey. You don't have to use an oxide. You don't have to use an oxide for these at all. You could use any ink at all. Um, I'm just using it because I know I have a grey in this colour. I could probably use that stays on actually, though it's quite dark, dark grey. Um, as you see, I'm not really paying much attention. I'm just putting a little bit of the grey colour on there. Um, yeah, any ink. You could use spray ink, I suppose. Paint. That said, I'm just using this oxide because it's handy and I know I have a nice grey in this colour. So just patching, very patchy colouring there. And I'm just going to add all these ripped pieces underneath you, Grandma, just for some texture and stuff there. These are going to have to go on with gel, however. So yeah. open that up, locate palette knife there you are go away water i don't need you at this time right yeah so i am just going to whack these on really haphazardly because yeah that's what i'm going to do um i just want to keep i'm just going to hide the straighter edges however oh i've had another idea i'm a genius wait 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 between these layers i'm going to add ugh, the i keep meaning to look up the pronunciation whether it's cecil or sisal um, but yeah, I'm going to add little chunks of that in between the layers. Oh, there's already some on there. We can go up there like so, add a little bit more gel. If you want to buy gel, medium by the way, and you're like, and you're on a budget or whatever, buy gloss um, rather than MAC because the, um, the gloss you can use for anything well you can use the mat for anything but the gloss is more handy if you want to put things like micro beads and glass glitter and stuff on there and it can be used as an adhesive it's just because i have both i tend to use the mat for sticking things that aren't going to be seen elsewhere as it were i hope i'm in shot i have no idea if i am i should probably check these things just lay you a little bit more of that way actually stay Stay, good, Cecil, 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 I don't know, I don't really care to be honest. Right, Um, I just can keep checking with my photo, I think we need to put some that way, yeah we do, yeah we do. Let's have that side that is a little bit more grey, oh gel medium on my fingers, I hate the sensation so much. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm fine. Yeah, that's what we want. And then it's, I think I don't want to use that bit, but I do want to put some more of this stuff, which is now all over me, just FYI, down here. And then I might add some color to it, or do we want to keep the natural look? I am not sure. I think by this point in the video, I'm getting a little bit rambly. I just, as I said, I'm not used to talking this much for this long. Oh, it's all over my fingers. Um, bury some butterflies in here, maybe. I think I am going to colour these little guys, though, just a little bit. So, see how they do with a bit of colour. Just put you in like that. That doesn't look great, does it? No, 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 no. Actually... I'm not sure. Let's try a different colour. Let's do uh, more lipstick. It might be better if I actually use the blending tool, but Ugh. I'm not good at getting things on my fingers. Right. Um, I kind of like them patchy, actually. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Right. Okay. Um, more tattered ro ro uh, rose. I think three tattered rose, one worn lipstick, and one antique linen butterfly. The antique linen is going to blend in quite a lot, I think. Okay. All right. So those guys are going to go there. Grandma, you're going to go there, and your 
and I think this needs a doily, this layout, don't you think? Possibly multiple doilies. I don't know. I think actually yeah, the doily should face uh, oxide tippage. Yes! Uh, I'm in the tangle of straw stuff. Okay, doily there, grandma there, butterflies around in general. So put those aside. Grandma's going to need to go up on some foam though, I think. Do I want to include this? Okay, that, that's that's much better. I'm just wondering if I can snap this so I can use the rest of it for something else. There we go, perf. Okay, right. I'm gonna so I'm gonna back this on something just to make it a little bit more sturdy to find a random bit of card. This piece will do nicely. So double said tape for that. Ugh. I think I'm starting to get tired. Also, my camera battery is going to run out very, very soon, so we will probably need to take a break, which is fine for me because I am gagging for a cup of tea, honestly. Oh, look at the state of my hands. It really is a problem. I need to get over my problems with texture. Um, that way round. I don't know why I'm being so fussy about that. I'm just going to cut around it anyway. Wow, that is wonky. Oh, well done, Grace. Dun, dun, dun. Doesn't really matter if it's that wonky because I am going to distress it again. So, yes. Uh, how do I, how do we, yeah, that's fine. That'll do. I've become a bit blasé by this point because I'm not used to this real-time shenanigans you guys let me know if you ever want me to do a live by the way i don't actually know how to set it up um because i film on my old iphone 6 i don't know if i'd have to film it on my current phone and then have something else up so i could read the comments like my laptop or something I'm not entirely sure how one does that um i put that like that uh so yeah um, <laughs> if you're interested let me know and we'd have to figure out a time for people as well because I know not all of you about I think it's something like 30 to 40 percent of my subs are in the UK so that's most of you obviously and then the next big number is guys in the US and then it goes down from there Australia Canada um, yeah so working out time zone that's good for everyone would be a thing too but yeah but this is a waste of breath if none of you are interested in it anyway <laughs> and plus it's just going to be like this me messing up and rambling and this piece of you're annoying me you're going in the bin um yes messing up things getting very rambly <laughs> problem is as well if when I'm actually live is I won't be able to cover up the things that I completely mess up I think I like that like that what do we think it needs dying first you're quite right yes it does need a little bit of dying first with um I'm gonna say antique linen there it is although now I've got gel medium on it ah oh well Never mind, I'll just do the other side. Not loads of dyeing, just a little hint. I'm just wondering if I should put gesso on that wooden piece now, but I kind of can't be bothered. I mean, I should, that's what you should do. But, as I said, I kind of can't be bothered. Right. So. Well, I actually kind of like the, like the just the wood. What do we think? I don't know. Help me. Let's just. Oh, actually, no, it looks way better with Jessa on. Okay, stop being lazy, Grace. Do the thing you're supposed to do with mixed media and Jesso your stuff. Okay, that looks better. You can still see a little bit of the wood underneath as well, so I'm kind of happy bleh, with that. So I'm going to add the foam to this so it's going to lie flush with everything. Um, you don't have to use the foam squares, the adhesive ones. I'm just using these because they're to hand um, and it's going to save me editing out looking for my my non-sticky foam as it were. But yeah, just use whatever foam you've got lying around. 
it's just oh why foam stuff is so much stickier than other like double-sided tape or something why is that all right then and look who got matte medium on their picture see again these are the things you don't see when i do a normal process video <laughs> oh dear i'll cover it up with something though very shortly so right little bit of gel matte medium on there if you haven't seen it already i highly recommend my mixed media basics video where i go over these things you know what gel medium is what gesso is that sort of stuff so right grandma it's about time you got on my layout i'm actually going to pull you down slightly further than originally thought because i really want to see this i like this little bit here where there's you can see the see whatever through this little gap here so i'm just going to bring it down so you can just see a little bit of that it doesn't mean you can't see the bottom of this but i think we can get away with it right now i'm with um this and anything paper um you do just have to hold it or wood for that matter you do just have to hold it for a couple of seconds just you know while you wait for it to get itself in place okay there we go that is the majority of the layout um that's the stuff that takes the most time really from this point onwards we're going to embellish yay for embellishments so butterflies yields these little guys are gonna go down see I, I seem to have cheered up a little bit now that all of this bit is done i think i was getting a bit stressed with uh, how long the video was going to be and stuff it's still going to be a long one hope you guys have uh, made sure you've got refreshments that way we've just been a double tapping on that skip forward 10 seconds button just a uh, loads and loads of times that's fine i understand um what color are you tattered let's just, just put you slightly underneath how many other butterflies gone there's one i've lost a butterfly there it is i found it right i think this other butterfly needs to be slightly hidden as well because he or she is quite bright, quite a bold colour. So I'm just going to hide it. Oh, look, I've done that thing where I've put two doilies down. Oh, trying not to swear. It's fine. I can just shove some matte gel in that gap there. There we go. It's fine. It's all fine. Panic over. Does anyone else do that with doilies all the time? I always forget to make sure I'm just putting one down. Just, yeah always every time but actually now i can put that butterfly between those two layers and that looks pretty good so never mind okay another butterfly either down there or up there let's find my box of embellishments from the kit what did i want to use i want to use some of these little ticket stickers i want to be th i want thank you for being so amazing and perfect moment spent with you i can't really do that because i don't think i was there at the time there is beauty in everything i suppose she's looking at the um looking at the beautiful scenery you as a beautiful perfect moment spent with you oh don't know don't know right, i'm gonna put that there and that hides that bit of gel that i kind of messed up a little bit now i could put some foam <laughs> underneath to uh, balance it out but it's going to stick on there just fine anyway so there you go that's fine there there is beauty in everything i'm gonna hide that i want to put that there but then that's it's too much of a row if you know what i mean let's, let's, let's hide it under there this is the best bit really i mean i enjoy the whole process but Sometimes I do get a bit stressed out when I'm trying to figure out where everything wants needs to go and I can't, I just can't decide. Just realised as well, my camera is going to die any minute, so I need to um, probably take a little break soon. I want to use that. Do I need to fussy cut it is the question buttons yes my grandma i don't really know why she i think she's got a lot of brooches and stuff 
that mother of pearl always reminds me of my grandma and this that's not actually the side of the button that's that's actually the inside of the button it's this sort of brown on the top there that's like you know the proper side but i think using the mother of pearl just because as i said mother of pearl reminds me of her so yeah i'm going to use those i think i'm going to use all of them as well beautiful memories yes let's use that or treasured moments or both why not both beautiful memories just cut the blue off there now there is a little bit of blue around the edge but that's not a problem oh wow i cut that beautifully didn't i all right beautiful memories can go right then guys so my camera died or was about to die so i had to go away for a little bit while it charged up and during that time i had some time to have a little think i do often do this with scrapbook layouts i go off take a break do other things that need to be done you know life things get to myself a tea and yes so i've had a little bit of a think about the, some of the embellishments we are drawing to a close i promise you i decided against these two this one because it's a bit too dark and even though I love the, the sentiment on this, I think if I put it anywhere, it's just going to draw too much attention to itself. Like you look at that rather than looking at the photo and that is not what you want. And then I remembered there was a sentiment stamp in the stamp pack from the kit that I wanted to use. So I'm going to take this little label from one of the cut apart sheets. I forget which one. And... Um, stamp one of these but if i stamp every moment is special with you it's not gonna fit but always in my heart kind of implies that she's not around anymore which she is so yes i'm gonna go with this one and just hope for the best kind of thing if i can get it oh it's separate oh 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 always check these things grace so i can actually use the sentiment separately oh perfect just shows you how much attention I pay to things. Let's see if we can get that separate as well. Oh, this is so perfect. Perfect moment. Except I can't get it off. There we go. So, I think I'm actually just going to stick with the sentiment and nothing else. I'm so happy right now. Love little surprises like that. Right, stays on. My Tesco baby wipe, but it's still got some juice on it. That's cool. Um, so yeah, let's just stamp this down. I'm wondering if I should stick it down before I stamp it. I'm going to distress it is what I'm going to do. Also, hopefully not forget about my tea before it goes cold. Don't you hate that? You forget about a cup of tea and then it's cold. And it's just the worst thing ever. I think that's mostly a British person's problem. I don't think other nations get as upset about that kind of thing as we do. But yes, and tea cannot be microwaved. It is just, no, it's not allowed. You cannot microwave tea, just no. So hang on, this is going to take a second of concentration. Dum -de -dum. Lovely. Right, just drive that off. And then take a sip of tea. Right, stick that on. I lost my train of thought yet again. I'll tidy that up in a minute. Double-sided tape. Where have you got to now? I found it. So that's on there, but I'm just wondering if I should add a little bit more of the... Whatever it's called underneath to tie it in or if that's going to draw too... No, I think without, actually. Never mind. Ignore me, which is probably what you've been doing for the past hour anyway. <laughs> Oh, I think I'm getting delirious. Right. And I want to see a little bit of this bit that I accidentally messed up, but kind of like the result. So that's going to go there. Right. So did I say about the sequins? I don't know if I did. Basically, yeah, um, I've got against the pearls and I'm going to go for sequins instead because we've got the yellow in there. And I wanted to, as I said, keep saying I want to pick up some of the yellow, but I am going to use the buttons because of the reason I said about how Mother of Pearl reminds me of my grandma so just a couple of those popped in around ah there's a fly <laughs> it's landed right there i think it's going to be just out of shot for you i'm just going to see if i can squish it ah! away i'm not scared of flies it was just a little bit close for comfort you know i did not enjoy that at all i really hate flies right so let's get these down i'm going to get my gloss gel out for this 
Um, not that I need it so much for the buttons, but I will need it for the sequins. And um, yes, I might as well just have it ready to go. So one button there. Come here, please. What I'm also going to do on this layout, but um, when it's completely dry and everything tomorrow, ah, come here, is um, I'm going to do a little bit of journaling on the back of it just to say how, um, you know, this is a picture of my grandma, this is where we were, this is what we were doing, I've lost my button, there it is, um, and how I've included the butterflies that she gave me and the mother of pearl that reminds me of her and you know that kind of thing just like a little bit i often do journaling on the back you know regulars to my channel will know i don't tend to do a lot of journaling put that underneath there next to the butterfly actually i think i want it on top come back come back there we go oh now it's lost its stickiness eh. Anyway, yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, I don't do a lot of journaling on my layouts, but I do sometimes add a little bit on the back of the layout so that on the off chance that someone looks at my layouts and stuff and I'm not around for whatever reason, um, there is some information on there. Whether they'll know to pull them out of the albums and look, who knows? But yes, right, I require tweezers. Get one of my little teeny tiny trinket pots. To, whoa, there we go and put these down what I'm also going to add is um, I feel like there's a bit of an imbalance here and there needs to just be something up here even if it's something small so I'm probably going to add a butterfly of sorts that one looks nice but then it's just it's not the right balance of wood kind of thing when there was only two wood things so and I can't be bothered to find another one I don't think I have another one that's going to work so yes oh there's not enough on there there we go so i'm just gonna add i'm not gonna add loads of sequins just a couple of the pink and the yellow i've just realized i haven't used the alpha stickers from this kit yet but i'm sure i will use them soon so yeah this layout as i hinted to earlier i have decided is going without a direct title it has the three sentiments on i think I suppose thank you for being so amazing is maybe the title I don't know my grandma is as I said she is the sweetest woman in the whole wide world um yeah she's just she is a marvelous marvelous lady and I do I do need to visit her very soon because she doesn't live close at all but you know she's she ain't getting any younger is she in 95 she um and she has been struggling, bless her, for the past two years since my granddad passed. She really misses him. They were married for 70 years, which is a very long time to be with someone and then be without them. They did get their card from the Queen for their 70th wedding anniversary, which um, she's very, very proud of and has pride of place in her, um, in her living room, amongst pictures of grandchildren and stuff, obviously. Um, she has so many pictures that she actually, she has, they're on a rotating system. So yeah, we all have like a turn on the shelf kind of thing. But yes, no, she has thousands and thousands and thousands of pictures. I need to, um, next time I visit, I want to go through all of her albums and steal a load. Not actually physically steal the pictures, but you know, take copies because she's got probably got I imagine some pretty awesome pictures that I really would like to scrapbook hmm I think we need another pink one there come here please there we go so yes we are almost finished yay you say or you've all stopped watching because this has gone on far too long and I'm completely talking to myself well, I'm going to add the butterfly and then make a decision about any more sequins. The butterflies, I'm going to add, oh, a load of stuff has fallen on the floor. I'm going to cut up these ones that have been, that are on here. Oh, there's a yellowish one. Hang on, let's just see how that's going to look. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Let's put you there. I think this one's going to need just a little bit of gel on it just to encourage it to stay. Don't, ah, almost. Not quite, but almost. No, I think it needs to be at the front. There we go. Right, I can go there. 
and if any gel sort of peeks out the edges you can just sort of scrape it off like that and then any little bit that dries you're not going to see it so it's fine right other butterflies i was talking about this strip here i'm just going to cut oh no they are separate no they're not separate i keep yeah i thought they were no, i'm gonna get two for now let's just make that cut a little bit better right yes um was I saying something and then got distracted and didn't finish what I was saying? I'm sure that's what exactly what ha just happened. Right, I'm going to have you up here. And then even though there's not much up here, it still balances it out a little bit that there's, you know, the stuff in the bottom corner, the stuff sort of in this middle-ish bit, and then there's stuff up here as well. So I'm going to add this last little butterfly up here like so i think that's all the butterflies i need yeah so i'm just gonna add maybe one or two more sequins where's my tweezers at there they go where do i want you a couple more around the butterfly area i think another yellow one. Oh, did you hear that noise that was my tummy i'm hungry <laughs> oh dear you see how my uh energy levels change during the process of this video. This has taken quite a while. I will be cutting out excess bits. What do we think? More sequins? Less sequins? I'm not really going to do less sequins, let's be honest, but I just want to put one down here and one over in this general area. No, I don't want an iridescent one. I want a pink one. Can ya? Yeah. My nails can be problematic at times like this. They used to be longer than this. Can you believe that? I used to have them really long. Way back at uni, particularly, they were claw-like. But doing crafts all the time, especially mixed media, they don't tend to survive. Um, there. Right. You know what? I'm not even sure splatters are needed. What do we think? Maybe they're needed on this general area. That was a loud vehicle, whatever that was. Yeah, it's on my fingers. Um, 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 maybe just some splatters of the lindies. Just a couple around here. Let's just get a piece of paper. Cover you up, Grandma. We don't want to splatter you. Da, 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 da. The lindies isn't very strong either. So, oh, it's just sinking into that, isn't it? That's actually quite a cool effect. It's not what I wanted, but I kind of like it. Splatter, splatter, splatter. I do worry about splatters sometimes because they can be very unpredictable. I do like them sinking into that paper, actually. As I said, not what was expected, but I kind of like it. Can that sequin stay down a bit, please? Right. I think we're done. Yeah, I'm done. Woohoo! Yay! I've finally finished! So there, there we go. Mixed media, it does take a while, but it's really not that hard. You do need some time to think about things sometimes, think about where they're going, as you saw. Maybe that's just me though, I don't know. But yeah, easy to assemble, just takes, takes some time um, drying and stuff. Gel medium, all this stuff I've just glued down. I will just leave this to dry. I, it dries. You can use a heat tool if you want to. I just think it goes so much better if you just, just leave it. And I don't need to do anything yet. So, you know, I don't need to take pictures or anything yet. So I can just leave it and it'll be fine. So, yes. Phew. We've finished. Don't know how long this video is. It's probably ridiculous. But thank you for sticking with me if you have. Um, let me know if you want to see any more real time processes um and if you do i will try and make them shorter in the future this is my first uh, real time scrapbook process so bear with bear with so yeah i'm going to put in some close ups and some stills when i'm finished yakking so you can get a proper look at it also if you go over to the tom's and craft supplies blog which i will link to there will be the close ups and stills on my corresponding blog post as well so yes Phew. we're finished Yes. Okay. That's it. I'm going to just need to stop talking now. So thank you so, 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 so much for watching this very long video. I really do appreciate it. Um, links to all of this stuff, including the kit, will be in the description box. Please check them out. And 
yeah okay thank you thank you thank you thank you i'm going bye bye